Good morning. I just woke up. Day number one. Made myself a coffee, black, which is okay for me because I don't use creamer anyway, so that was not a hard adjustment. And then I have my day by day book. I'm going to read while I eat breakfast. All right, so everywhere I read said key to Whole30 is keeping it simple. So for breakfast, pretty much every day I'm probably gonna have this paleo bacon. It's um, Whole30 compliant, it says so on the website. It's by Garrett Valley. Um, so it doesn't have any sugar, it doesn't have anything to cure it. Um, it just is pork, sea salt, and different spices. And then just organic brown eggs. And then I'm gonna do some kale and some spinach greens with some olive oil on the side and two poached eggs on top. So let's let's get to cooking. Day number one. For my greens, I'm just sauteing them in olive oil. I'm gonna put some sea salt on them. I don't wanna lump them down too much, so literally I have them in there for like a minute or so. Um, still want some crunch to them, so I'm just gonna put them on the plate now. And then I'm going to cook up my bacon, which I am the most excited about. The bacon is all done, all cooked up. I'm going to let the extra grease drain off on a paper towel. Um, and then I'm going to cook up my eggs. Eggs are going to take the longest. Probably should have done this first. I didn't really think about that. But I'm going to put my eggs in. I'm going to poach them. A little tip for you, um, putting apple cider vinegar in your water will actually help keep the egg together, keep the poached egg together so it doesn't spread all over the water because I've had that happen to me one too many times and it's upsetting. So just a little tip, add in a little bit of apple cider vinegar, maybe like two teaspoons or so. It'll help keep the egg together. So in the meantime, while my eggs are gonna be cooking, um, bacon's cooling off, I'm going to prep my dinner. Um, and that this is going to be key, I think for me in Whole30, is doing crock pots because I have a very busy schedule and I'm back and forth throughout the day. So I'm gonna use the crock pot for a lot of my meals. So I'm gonna be making a paleo beef stew. So I'll show you the prep for that. A whole red onion. And then I have two pounds of this lean um, stew beef. Um, it has no antibiotics, no um, steroids or anything like that added to the beef. Um, and then I'm going to add in some potatoes. And then up here I have some crushed tomatoes that I'm going to add in also. And on potatoes, any canned stuff, you really want to make sure that you watch the ingredient list and that there's no added sugar because that's the main thing we're trying to get rid of in Whole30. So I just realized I don't have a can opener. So I can't open my can of tomatoes. So I'm gonna have to wait until I get back from work this afternoon. And I'll probably, oh my God. I won't be home until like eight o'clock tonight to eat. So what I'm gonna eat around five. Oh my gosh. Adulting is hard. I'll figure something out. All right, upstairs neighbor to the rescue. He had a can opener, so I borrowed it from him. So I got my can of tomatoes open. This is what it looks like thus far. I think this is going to be pretty good. So I do have, um, I cooked up spaghetti squash last night. So I think I was going to add it in, but I don't think it'll fit. So I think I'll just saute that in some olive oil and then put this stew over it. as like the, um, like the bulking ingredient for that. So yeah, I'm going to let that cook all day. I'm going to go eat my breakfast and start reading day one of the Whole30 Day by Day book. And I'll update you in a little bit. All right, so breakfast is all done. Um, it's almost 8 o'clock now in the morning. Um, I'm going to have to do my dishes when I get back because I have to run off to work. But breakfast was good. I um, It's not much of a change for me for breakfast because I normally have like eggs and bacon and greens for breakfast anyway. Or at least I used to when I was trying to eat healthier. Um, but lunch and dinner is where I would fall off. And throughout the day, just snacking, I would get hungry and I would grab like... Uh, cliff bar and these like chocolate vanilla protein shakes at work and those aren't exactly the healthiest things and then it just escalated to Wendy's and blah blah so yeah that breakfast isn't a big change for me um, the biggest change is going to be obviously cooking lunch and dinner with my busy schedule but I think the crock pot is going to save me a lot crock pot and, and just prep so 
yep, I'm going to head off to work and I will see you guys a little later today. Also, just touching on this book a little bit, um, I read half of day one because part of it is supposed to be in your morning routine and then half in your night routine. Um, so I read the first like two or three pages of the first day and I already really like it because it gives you tips, gives you advice, um, inspiration, and just different hacks on how to push you through the 30 days. So it's called The Whole 30 Day by Day and um, I highly recommend that you check it out if you are looking into doing the whole 30 because I think it's really, really gonna help me stay on track. All right, little break from work. I'm gonna have some almonds and a banana, just like a handful of almonds. And then I'm gonna eat a banana and try to hold myself over until lunchtime. I'm so hungry for my workout this morning. So let's see how these guys, these are oven roasted, but unsalted. So here we go, let's chill down. All right, so I just, oops, just walked in the door from work. And that stew that I prepped this morning smells so good. I'm gonna check on it really quick. So I'm back home and I'm gonna make myself a little bit of lunch. Feeling a little bit better than this morning because I've been taking Zycam and that's supposed to help cut the symptoms of a cold straight away. So uh, did my third dose of that this morning already. So hopefully that'll help. So I'm gonna shower really quick and then I'm going to prep my lunch. But this is what the stew's looking like so far. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. I might have to turn it down to low. It looks like it's getting pretty, pretty well done. So I'm going to go shower and change, and then I will start making lunch. I'm going to be making a shrimp stir fry. All right, so I'm showered, and I wanted to film myself cooking, but I completely forgot because I was just really hungry, so I just wanted to get it done. But I just made a shrimp stir fry. So what I did is I went to Aldi, um, and I just bought this frozen stir fry mix, and it comes with a sauce, and I just threw away the sauce. So this is like $1.19, which is really good for all of these veggies in here. It has carrots, broccoli, water chestnuts, mini corn, sugar snap peas, which you can have on Whole30. Um, that's the only like type of legume or legume or however you pronounce it that you can have on Whole30. So it does contain those, but you can have that on Whole30. So yeah, I just got that. Uh, I got two because I'm going to be eating that all week just because it's really quick. Um, and then I fried it up in a frying pan with some olive oil and put on some sea salt also. So this is what it looks like right here. So yeah, I'm going to chow down on this. I've had this before, but with the sauce. So I just put, oh yeah, I put coconut aminos on it. So if you don't know what coconut aminos are, it looks like this. I just got these from Fresh Time. So coconut aminos are completely made from coconuts. So all it contains is coconut, organic coconut sap and sea salt, and then it's fermented. So it tastes a lot like soy sauce and um, it's gluten-free um, and soy-free. So it's pretty awesome, I, I like it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat my lunch and the uh, stew is cooking away. I went ahead and added in the um, spaghetti squash. Um, oh, I didn't, I didn't say that. I cooked spaghetti squash last night um, and prepped it and put it in there for kind of like a binding ingredient. So I um, went ahead and put the spaghetti squash in and I have a lot of dishes to do, but that's okay. I don't mind doing dishes anyway. So I'm going to eat this, clean up, and then just relax a little bit until I have to go back into work this evening. I also have a chiropractor appointment this evening, so I'm just going to relax and watch some TV and eat up this delicious stir fry. But now the moment we've all been waiting for all day. I feel like all day we've been building up to trying this stew. So let's try it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm so happy. It smelled really good, so I figured it would taste good. Mmm, mm-hmm. First bump to myself. Awesome. So now component number two, just sitting down and eating my dinner. I have to fill out the second half of my day by day book. So I think in the evening it's like reflections and um, at the end of every day you get to check off that you were compliant all day long. So I'm gonna get a pen and I'm gonna fill that out and I'm going to enjoy this stew because it is really, really good. I only had one craving today and I noticed 
this after lunch, after I ate the stir fry, I just really craved something salty and crunchy. So I'll keep an eye on that and see if that's kind of just like a regular occurrence day to day. And I guess that'll kind of let me know like what my weakness is and the something I'm addicted to, um, like the salty, crunchy stuff. So yeah, overall, it was a really good day number one. I felt really prepared. Um, I feel like I ate my meals all on time. And also, I noticed that after every meal, I was pretty much full for the day. Um, I, I didn't feel like I needed to snack. I didn't feel like I, you know, needed to eat extra. After every meal, I was pretty full. And right now, like you can see, I haven't finished all of my stew. I feel pretty full, so I might just put this back in the crock pot and save it for tomorrow. So that's another good thing, so it'll last me a little longer. So yeah, overall, really, really good day. Um, I'm excited to see the next 29 days, or I guess it would be 39 days, because there is a 10 day reintroduction period, but uh, yeah, so that is the conclusion of day one. I'm going to clean up the kitchen, do the massive amount of dishes I now have from prepping food, but I think the results from this are gonna be way worth doing dishes. So um, I'm gonna do that, clean up a little bit, hop into bed, watch a little bit of Netflix, drink some tea, and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow on day number two. Good morning. I literally just woke up. My throat hurts so bad. But it's 5.03 in the morning right now. I have a client on Tuesdays at 6 a.m. I just have to get up a little earlier than usual. But not too tired though. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to make my coffee. Definitely going to make my coffee. And I prepped my breakfast last night because I knew I had to get up earlier. So I prepped my breakfast. And I think I might just bring it along with me because I'm not that hungry right now. I didn't think I would be. So yeah. But I'm still going to fill out my, um, my book before I leave. So I'm just going to get ready really quick and off to work and I'll catch up with you guys later. So while I'm getting ready, I thought of a few things and it's kind of surprising. Um, one about cough drops. I can't have cough drops because I guarantee they have sugar in them. I know they have sugar free. Um, so I'll have to find an alternative, I guess, for my throat. But also, looking at my multivitamins, they have like three different kinds of sugars in them so that's kind of crazy even though I mean they're supposed to be good for you they have added sugar it's crazy there's sugar in everything they just really just pump sugar and additives and pretty much everything so just wanted to point that out I thought that was really interesting all right just got finished with my client it's now 6 35 in the morning I'm just gonna eat my breakfast and do some work until my next um, next client at 8 o'clock so I'm gonna get some stuff done and I feel really good I'm tired um, but I'm not like exhausted like I thought I would be so that's good um, also put some coconut oil in my coffee to help keep me um, satisfied while I was training so I actually like it I've never done it before and I liked it I liked the taste of it and it did kind of help keep me full while I was training so I'm gonna eat I'm gonna do some work on my computer and I will catch back up with you at lunchtime currently at work eating my lunch and I'm having cravings for sure I don't know for what but it definitely is not this. So this is my first test of willpower, so I'm gonna stick to it. But I definitely want my chicken right now. Hello everyone. It is coming to the end of day two. I just got home from work. Just got home from teaching a fitness class. 
So I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna make up that stew again or heat up that stew. Have it just chilling in my fridge for whenever I need it. So like I said, crock pot is gonna be a lifesaver because it's seven o'clock, I'm starving, don't wanna cook anything, so prepping is key. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna heat up the stew a little bit and then I'm also going to do my Whole30 day by day log for the evening and then um, that is when I will update you guys on day number two. So, I filled out my Whole30 day two and I'll just give you guys a little recap, a little rundown of my second day of Whole30. Okay, so this morning I was so tired, um, but I also woke up way earlier than normal. Um, I woke up at 5 o'clock. I normally wake up at like 6, 6.30, so I woke up an hour earlier. Um, I went to bed at a decent time though, but I was still pretty tired just from, I think just from waking up early. Um, today at lunch and you guys know this because I mentioned it in the clip for my lunch my cravings were so bad like I I think lunch time is my downfall so yeah cravings were um, for something salty again something salty and crunchy I really really wanted something salty and crunchy um, and then a little later in the day I really wanted something sweet so I got the best of both worlds today as yesterday was just something salty. Um, so yeah, but today I must say today was so eye opening. Um, so I've been taking and I mentioned this yesterday. I had a sore throat and I was felt like I was getting symptoms of cold allergies or something. So I started taking Zycam, which is a medication. And I found out today that it contains artificial sugar. It contains sucralose, which is another um, name for added sugar. So that, also cough drops. I know they have sugar-free cough drops, but I'm still trying to stick to whole. Obviously, cough drops are not natural, so um, tea is my go-to right now. But yeah, cough drops have added sugar. My uh, multivitamins have three types of added sugar in them. Zycam has added sugar, gum has added sugar, so even though I had the cravings today, it was very eye-opening because I real I'm starting to realize how much unnecessary sugar is added into stuff, even medicine that is supposed to help our bodies. So I'm going to look up um, alternative remedies to kind of get rid of whatever's going on here. I feel better today throat is still kind of sore soreness came back because I haven't taken the Zycam since I found that out around like 11 o'clock today so yeah that was I I just couldn't believe that 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 blew my mind and it's just stuff like that you don't think about and I know that we don't take Zycam every day we don't take you know those types of medication every day but it's like where else is the sugar being added into so yeah so that was a kind of eye-opening experience um ate the same meals as i did yesterday so that's why i didn't really show the meals that much uh, i just kind of wanted to give the update um in my day by day book it did say today that you might feel sluggish and tired um and i did so but like i said i also woke up a lot earlier than um i normally do so yeah today kind of kind of clicked as to you know the the sugar thing and how much it really is in everywhere and it's so unnecessary so I think that's gonna give me a little bit of motivation for the remaining 28 days or 38 days because we have the 10-day reintroduction phase so with that being said I'm going to make myself gonna make myself a tea a green tea because of my throat um, do my dishes and then again I'm just gonna climb into bed finish up any work I need to on my computer for tomorrow and then I'm going to have myself a very good night's sleep because I don't have to get up tomorrow until later so I will check in with you guys tomorrow and good night see you on day four. Oh, 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 oh,